Hello everyone, welcome to another editorial assessment. And today our topic is something based on science, something based on politics, and that is the lack of a drug recall law in India, which is prepared by the Hindu newspaper. And uh, here we are going to discuss about a law about drugs that need to be recalled because something happened in the market, so the government need to recall that law. So what are the things that is needed for recalling that law and why there is no recall law and what happens when substandard drugs are not recalled. These are the things that we are going to discuss today. So that is the basic of our editorial assessment of today's subject is recalling a drug law. So as we are studying more and more things, we know about what is drugs, which is not good to our health but sometimes it is a fact that drugs may save our life too everything have the positive and negative impact like the drugs also have the positive and negative impact so today we are going to discuss about these matters and what is the positive aspect and what is the negative aspect of drugs and what is the need of recalling and though so these are the topics that we are going to discuss so let's move forward to the further discussion so moving towards the further editorial assessment discussion at the first part we are discussing that on april 25th about a multinational pharmaceutical company published a public notice to newspaper alerting people about a mislabeled batch of medicine that it had advantly shipped it to the market so situation is like that you know the medicine uh, it's not the good to health that has shipped into the market May people consume that, may be people consume and purchase that, that may be uh, badly affected their health. So India has been mulling the creation of mandatory recall law for substandard drugs since 1976 and yet no law exists that mandates such medicine be removed from the market to this day. So here we are discussing some of the thing is that the first thing there are three possible answers to the question. The first is the drug regulation section of the union health and the second possible factor in India's highly fragmented regulatory structure and the third possible factor is that India's drug regulatory are aware of the fact that mandatory drug recall system. So here is the system is that why we are not recalling is such to that. These are the reasons that we are not recalling a drug system or drug law in India. So this is the fact that people in India, uh, there is a news that have been published is that some of uh, a drug that have been flooded in the market and that is adversely affecting the people's health that may adversely affect the people's health and that is flooding into the market like that people may consume and people they purchase because they were not aware about the particular medicine. So it is uh, stating that there have been a law at earlier times so substandard law that should be uh, controlling or minimizing the uh, good medicine or bad medicine so at that time why we cannot recall is that maybe it is too expensive maybe the people cannot connect it to the center or maybe it is depending upon the central government like that there is a fact that we cannot adjust or connect it to them at the last part of this editorial we are discussing the fact that People including children are almost certainly dying or suffering from adverse health events because substandard drugs are not safely removed from the market. Every month, dozens of drugs fail random testing in government laboratories. So it is, it is a clearer evidence that at first I have been uh, noticed you about the positive and negative aspect of the drugs is that at the positive side we are discussing that it is saving so many lives you know uh, like uh, treatment like cancer there is so many uh, drugs that we help the healthy uh, that may help the people's health so at that situation it is in a positive verse but in a negative verse it may kill also so many lives I, th I think the more is negative side the more of uh, drugs is the negative side that it may take the life of many people and it may kill many people to like that so we cannot choose it to that if we are consulting that to a positive side we have to need to take proper consultation from the doctor or any other people from the uh, medicine or the uh, scientific side so if you are taking like that medicine uh, you have to take a proper consultation otherwise you may avoid the drugs from your life it is more good for your health and it may save your family it may save your parents it may save your children it may save your future too so that is a very essential thing about the drug is that please reduce the use and that may also affect the other people also as surrounding you 
so it is my personal opinion also that please avoid if you are taking drugs please consult the concerned doctor for the consultation so it is very much needed so please avoid the use of bad drugs to your life please understand what it may cause and what may affect in the society not only you but also the people who are surrounding you and that's all for today's editorial thank you so much